Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Osman Ali. The video that I'm recording is the fifth video in the series of the different depreciation methods that we are studying. In this depreciation method, we're going to talk about modified accelerated cost recovery system, or you can call it in short as makers or makers. The data remains same, which I have used in my previous videos that the life is five years, the cost of asset and the salvage value. We do not need the number of hours this time. Now, the depreciation method is actually dependent on this depreciation table that you are actually seeing. In the columns, you see that the year, year wise information is given, like if the asset is having three years life, five year life, seven, 10, 15, 20 year life, and then the number of years as well which is year one, year two, year three, year four, and year five, and likewise. So if I, we see here our asset has a life of five years, it means that we're going to use the five-year column. And along with this, we will do the calculation for this five-year column as year one, year two, year three, year four, year five, and if you can see, one extra calculation of year six. So these, these are actually the percentages, the amount of percentage that is uh, we are expecting uh, as a depreciation actually, which means that 20% of the total cost of asset or the uh, will be actually depreciated at the end of the first year. 32% of the cost of asset will be depreciated in at the end of the second year, 19.20 for the third year. So these are actually the amount of uh, depreciation expense, but that's like in a percentage shape that this much percent will be expected that it will depreciate actually. So this is the table that I'm going to use and this is the column that we will use. So keep these values in your mind, 20%, 32%, 19.20, 11.52, 11.52, .52, 11 and 5.76% actually. Why the six year calculation is here instead of five years? Because a Macker's method is automatically adjusted for all the um, those transactions which are or those purchases that are made during the year actually so it's unlike the uh, the double double declining method so let's go to the solution part of it so the time when we purchased this machine so the cost of the machine was one lakh seventeen thousand and nine hundred dollar and then we had a depreciation so by the way there is no salvage value actually in the makers method kindly remember this so the cost of asset is 1,17,900, which we will multiply with the first year percentage that was 20%, so it will become 0.20. If you multiply it, we will get a depreciation of $23,580. This is the depreciation of the first year. So my accumulated depreciation will also be same because it's just the first year. And my remaining book value would be 1,17,900 minus $23,580. So my net remaining or remaining book value would be $93,320. Then we will go to the second year. So at the end of the second year, we are supposed to do the depreciation calculation once again. But if you remember as given to us in the numerical, the second year depreciation rate will be 32% actually. So let's go and apply the 32%. 32% actually means 0 0.32. When you multiply it, it becomes 37000 seven hundred and twenty eight dollars and when you plus it so it will become sixty one thousand three hundred and eight so this sixty one thousand three hundred and eight actually means that you have added the depreciation of the current year plus uh, the total of the depreciation till the previous years our remaining book value would be ninety four thousand three hundred twenty minus thirty seven thousand seven hundred and twenty eight dollar which will be fifty six thousand five hundred and $92 would be my remaining value at the end of the third year. Then once again, our uh, cost of asset remains same, but our rate is something which is variable and that changes. So in the third year, if you remember, we got 19.20%, so it will be uh, 0 0.1920. And if you multiply that, we will get a depreciation of 22,637. This is a rounded value. Then this 22,637 plus 61308 it will give us 83945 while 56592 minus 22637 will give us 33955 
33,955. That's the remaining book value. We will continue uh, calculating the depreciation expense by the fourth year, which is 11.52%, so it will become double one five two. So this will give us a depreciation expense of $13,582. My accumulated depreciation, now you know the process, so I will directly write the value of it. It would become 97527 and my remaining book value would become 20373 Then in the second year, uh, sorry, in the fifth year, again 11.52% uh, uh, depreciation is expected, so the depreciation expense amount will remain same. My accumulated depreciation will become $1,11,109, while my remaining book value would become 6791 Okay, this is the fifth year. Let's go for the last year also, and then we are done. 1,17,900 multiplied by the depreciation rate is 5.76%, which means 0 0.0576. If you multiply it, it gives me $6,791. Or I, the, my accumulated depreciation will be 11, 1,11 11 is 17,900. And my salvage value would be zero this time. In, in Macker's method, remember this thing that we always get a zero remaining book value at the end of uh, the life or, or the depreciable life of the asset. This was the Macker's method. Remember the percentages. Uh, for every uh, different year, there are different percentages actually. So I, the life of the asset for which I did the numerical was five years. That's why we had this five-year uh, um, column used and means that whatever the life is, one year extra would be calculated because of that it is possible that sometimes the machines are purchased during the year, so it will be kind of that adjustment or self-adjusted. If you remember in the basic uh, depreciation methods, you had that half-year convention, fraction of year convention, so those kind of adjustments are not needed here. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. Stay safe.